All right, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak. I'll allow it. Why would I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed, and the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The run's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. Then I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why, thank you. In other words, I was knocked out of the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission! I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam officer? <laughs> Bring it on! I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got! What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this! Let's go! Out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want. But who can verify that you're not lying? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything! Use your own damn powers to figure it out then! I see... So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with a power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. About your power... I can only project my own memories. Unfortunately, I can't show things I... In other words, I cannot tell if there are other passengers. Oh. Zongi's photography power probably isn't helpful right now. Um, could you use your forte to prove Aphex's claim? That's not possible. With no animals to control here, it's difficult to conduct any sort of investigation on the train. Unless you're hiding a mouse inside your pocket. Then we can talk. Right. Sorry. Hmm. 
Zilch's powers to control animals can't be used here. Um... What? You want me to search again? What's the point of that? I'm sorry! I got yelled at. Um, Melanie, could your powers be used to see if anyone else is on board? No way. Not unless there's someone dead in one of the cars. But even if they were, their clothing would still need to be a match for me. Melanie's medium powers won't work here. Um, Pucci, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Pucci, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one could hold their breath. They still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. Bye. Uchi, guarantee it. See? I told you so! Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. So you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them... an imposter? But Aphex and Pucci both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so... I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? <laughs> What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. 
No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off. But it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal! Don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time, why would they need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows, but I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. Hold up. Did you just say that you... Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal, to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm, so you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. 
we can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it, thanks. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated. But Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be open. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Does anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you.
he seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although, we only seem to have coffee here. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here. Have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person? Looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident, or did someone attack me? Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What? Uh, Zange? I've heard someone has used photography to show the other side of the moon. Can you do that, Zange? There is a chance that it's all a trick made to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. Photography, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. What's that? Your cell phone? Quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Again, I can feel Zange using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. 
I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody! Be constructive for once! You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young man, are you all right? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car 3 and beyond are all full, so you should use car 1 at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be alright on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's... nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Right. S sorry Oh. Uh. Hey. Yes. I'll allow it. Yes. Um... S sorry
Wait. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key! Where is the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? It opened. can finally see cute little me. <laughs> it's all taking root. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Well, aren't you rude? It's... Talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. I've completely lost it. Snap out of it. You're my master, aren't you? Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Huh? What pact? so passionately bound together? Oh, how cold of you! After I offered myself to you and you alone! You're so irresponsible! Take ownership of your actions! I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kitty, of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. You don't get a death god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. something in return. Offered? <gasps> you mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's 
why I have amnesia? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. Not! Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Why not? Tell me! No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? During that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? You good? <sighs> this place. Well, Thank you.